Ano ba bibilhin ba ng shades dito? Shades? Okay, machepohan tayo na Uy, yung hindi naman mamahalin Pang ano lang Pang araw-araw lang Oo Yung dala ko kasi nabali Oo May dala ako eh, kaso na nalaganan I just be so blunt. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm not gonna believe this. What is it? What is it? It's what? And she's wearing a birthday crown. And she's wearing a birthday crown? That's crazy. That is just crazy. Stop everything. What's your memory for this? What's your memory for this? naglalakad ng mga ano may naglalakad ng mga ang tawag doon? hindi yung yung triangle na kalaban ah yung inaapakan hindi yung inaapakan doon sa una yung If you're sitting in a blue seat, okay, a blue seat, made you look, they're all blue seats, except for mine and Lacey's. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who have your 3D glasses that are wearing their 3D glasses, if you're one of those people, do me a favor, take them off, look around, and you'll notice the world's already in 3D. You don't need to wear these, okay? These are not sunglasses, and also these screens you're looking at, they aren't 3D screens, so just keep them on your head in your lap anywhere other than your face. Otherwise, they're just going to give you a headache the entire tour. Now, everyone, look to the right. See this fire station? That's a real fire station. They are not a set. That's Fire Station 51. They are the first responders here. It's something that filmmakers hide in movies or TV shows for audience members like us to go on and find. And you will find directly in front of you there's a big building known as Soundstage 12. Sound stages are where we generally film the interior scenes for our productions, and this sound stage is the oldest and largest on the lot. This building dates back all the way to the early monster movies. We got another big star on the left hand side. It's Ted the Teddy Bear. He's giving a nice little cheers to the Universal Tour. Don't worry, that's just apple juice. His martini glass. Now, Ted is standing in front of our production bungalows. These bungalows used to be dressing rooms for some of Hollywood's hottest stars, including Rock Hudson, Doris Day, Jimmy Stewart, and everybody's favorite redhead, Lucille Ball. Back in those days, actors were known as contract players, which meant they would only film Universal Pictures while they were under contract. And since they were man too, but my favorite Marvel superhero is Captain America, the first Avenger, starring my husband, Chris Evans. 
He doesn't know he's my husband. I'm just trying to manifest it, you know? But yeah, the scene where he's running down the street barefoot chasing the taxi cab is the street that you're sitting on right now. Now these buildings, like I mentioned, they're not real. There's not that much going on on the insides. Most of these are known as shells. A shell is where you build all four walls of a building, but you can't really fit a camera crew on the interior. Therefore, we use these for exterior filming, outside filming, and then we do all of the interior filming on the sound stages we showed you at the beginning. And then it's the editor's job to cut it all together to make it look as if it was one seamless area. Now, we want to make the street look as long as possible. That's why all of these buildings have a slightly different style to them. If you go to New York, they don't really have that. Pretty realistic, don't they? Yeah. And what's really cool is if I hit this button right here, these are all going to turn off at the same time. So get ready. Off. Oh. So I put that, I said, and off. <laughs> off. Oh. Okay, uh, sorry everyone. We're having some technical difficulties. It seems like the button is just freezing or something. Oh no, we got flash blood alert. Everybody take cover. I was just joking with you. I wasn't controlling any of those effects. That was the result of thousands of gallons of recycled water being released down the hill, and it's gonna go right back up the drain pipes for the next tram. You saw that flash flood of the film Big Fat Liars? You can't outrun the wolf, kid! Yeah, we'll see about that. I got funny folks! Don't worry, Paul Giamatti was just fine. That was his stunt double. But you know who did not have a stunt double in all that water was Lady Gaga. She stood there in six-inch high-heeled pumps for her music video, Judas, which just turned 10 years old. So let's take a moment to say goodbye to my youth. Now, everyone, we are rolling on out of old Mexico and into the old west. Welcome to Six Points, y'all. Six Points, God and Stan, because back in the early days of filmmaking, there used to be six different streets that all coincided with this one. Each street had its own bank, saloon, and jail, and we could choose six different westerns at the same time because these were the days of the silent film era where films were unaffected by sound like they are today. In fact, the creator of Universe was on out of here. We're going to be turning to the right, and when we do, I want everybody to look over to the left because you're going to see sound stages 30 and 31. That's where we film NBC's hit singing competition, The Voice. By the way, please keep your cameras in the vehicle at all times, okay? I don't want you to drop them today. Now, Right below, you're going to see this big body of water that is known as Park Lake. Park Lake is also referred to as the Black Lagoon, from where the creature from the Black Lagoon still lives to this day. More energy? You got it. Yes, the creature from the Black Lagoon is one of our many universal monsters, which is the official title of the monster movies. We are known for the genre. Countless monsters like Count Dracula, the Wolfman, Frankenstein's monster, and his bride all got their very first steps right here at Universal Studios. Oh, and look, there's the Invisible Man. Boo. Boo, Joe. Invisible Man, that's a dumb joke. I know. And I've got more. Now, we're going to show you where all those monsters got their very first steps as we take you to Little Europe. Little Europe could be any European city or country. We need it to be as long as you change the signs and languages on the doors and windows, add some set dressing, and boom, we could be in any part of Europe we need. <laughs> this could be Belgium. Yay, Belgium! Yes, any European city or country we need. But you might have noticed there was a green sign outside that said, Welcome to the...